All right, so uh, this allows you to basically control the sibilance, like s, s. I went to the store, and if you're a person like me, you pronounce pretty much every single word. I don't know why. Uh, you could try singing when you sing your parts, and I will talk about this when I actually talk about recording the vocals, which is the next video is going to be focusing on recording the vocals. The first video was focusing on what type of mic you should use. Oh, sorry, I'm hitting my cable. All right, so you could sing like I went to the store, went to the store. Okay, you try to like limit that S as much as possible. Or you might say, I went to the store, store, <laughs> which is the way I normally do it. So I have to use this DS quite a bit. Now, the way I have it set right now, I have it on a neg negative 11 decibels, which is the threshold. And the frequency range is three point kilohertz, right? Or 3000 hertz roughly around there. Uh, when this threshold is turned all the way up at zero decibels, it means that nothing is getting de-essed. Everything is like the original signal. But the more you turn it on, and I can I can actually let you know what it sounds like. Let me disable everything else. And I have this running to a bus as well. All right, so, and let me turn that bus off. It's called Lead Vox down here. Uh... Let's turn this off for a second. So you can just hear it. So now you're hearing is just the VC64 on this particular track. All right. I'll be a superman. You'll be my super girl. And you can notice We're if you can see it, world. it lights up ever so slightly. But the more that I add, I'll all right, subtract the threshold, you'll, be my you'll see it start gets distorted because now it's cutting be off the attack girl. as well, which we really don't want. Then I can bring it back up. I'll be a superman. You'll be my super girl. We live in a super world. And at some point in time, um, sometimes I almost feel like this wasn't what I want. Now they do have uh, a bunch of different, you know, presets that you can use depending on what you're going for. But this is a bad plugin, you all like. And I mean, I don't mean bad in a bad way, but I mean bad. This is like an amazing plug in uh, because it has a compressor and it has a gate. It has like a limiter. It has pretty much anything that you need. Um, and whether you know this or not, it's sometimes it's better to use more than one compression on a vocal. So um, and I'll show you why. Um, so on this particular channel for the dynamic mic, I use the VC64, right, which has uh the de but I also did add a compressor to it. Now, here's without the compression on. So, and then I'll, I'll bypass and go back and forth, all right? 